Hello and welcome back to another round of Turf War. Today I am extremely irritated. So I'm doing this early in the morning. Well, early for me anyway. So that I can get it out here and not spend the whole frickin' day like mulling over it. Okay. Let's see how well I can articulate this story with my ADHD and needing to concentrate on a game. The long and short is, I have... Well, it's not really long and short, but I have two cats. One... The first one, I got about six months ago. She's like one to two years old and was a stray. I called her Lucina. She's completely black. I just was not in the right headspace for that. Oh wow. Just commenting, yeah, the oh wow was for what was written on the wall. But yeah. So when I get her, I take her to like my vets. And you know, they're like, everything's fine, but she has like a parasite of some sort. So it's like, oh well, that sucks, but we'll do what we can. So, you know. I was thinking I still had auto bomb. I forgot I switched to the Dark Ten to du duelies. Hmm. Yeah, so I give her her medication at least as well as I can, because she has like a bad habit of just not taking them. Damn it. So, you know, like, by the end of it, I'm not sure she got enough, you know, enough medication for her parasites, but they take a poop sample and they say, oh yeah, she's clear. Which... I know some parasites. That's a little weird. Because it takes multiple rounds. Really? That was close enough? Due to the, you know, like, whatever medication killing the adults in the, you know, that's in their stomach or wherever. But not the, you know, not the eggs. So once the eggs hatch, you need another one. But, you know, I'm no expert and they're the vets, so sure. Darn it. So, you know, that happens. Then I get a second cat, right? And the second cat is like a tabby. She's like eight to nine years old. And, you know, like everything's fine for like a while. But, you know, like soon she starts like puking fairly regularly, right? So, of course, I take her into, like, the vet, and I would also... We should not have won that. I thought they did. Like, this is, mind you, like, two weeks into, like, the lockdown procedures. For that thing that I probably shouldn't say too, too loudly, right? And that'll be relevant later on. But, you know, like, I take her in, and they do, like, a ton of testing on her, and they're like... The reason why she's throwing up is probably asthma. That'll be $608 and some odd change. Now, the price kind of bugs me because, you know, like, like I said, you know, like, I could be off work. Luckily, I still had money coming in, so I could afford it, although that still hurts a good bit. But, you know, like... Yeah, 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 charging that much when I could very well be, like, living off of, like, unemployment, or even just trying to get unemployment, already, like, really bugs me. And, of course, I'm going to pay it because, you know, like, if I don't and I'm stingy about it, and then something happens to her and she just dies, then I'm going to feel freaking awful. So... You know, like, I pay the 600 but it's like, I'm not sure I can just do that again. 
But then something weird happens, like, you know, I'm giving her steroids and everything for the asthma, but then Lucina, my younger cat, starts showing similar symptoms, which strikes me as really weird, because asthma, as most people will know, is not contagious. So it's kind of weird that they both start showing symptoms at around the same time. I'll say that I have human asthma, and I'm pretty darn sure that that's not contagious. There we go. Now I need to run. So, you know, like, the whole thing really bugs me because they, like, charged me an arm and a frickin' leg. For something that probably was incorrect, right? So that happens. And then, you know, like, I get her to take her steroids and she starts, you know, like, puking less regularly. Like, you know, she'll go, like, a week or two without puking. And then she'll puke, like, every other day, like, for, like, two or three times. Darn it. Okay. So I keep on wondering, it's like, should I take her back? Because, like, I mean, the steroids seem to help a little, like, I don't know. It could just be that it's an off and on thing, and that's why it seemed like the steroids fit, you know, worked. Because realistically, they shouldn't, because that's probably not what it was. And I also don't want them to do a bunch of tests and charge me, like, 600 freaking dollars again. So that's the position I'm in. I asked, like, somebody to refer me to another vet, and they say they'll look into it, but they never got back to me. So, like, the whole thing is, I'm thinking... Oh, if I get another vet, I'll take them to the other vet... Well, okay. Oh, darn it. And then, yeah, I'll get him re you know, I'll get Mewtwo re-diagnosed, and maybe we'll figure out, like, an actual solution rather than, you know, just, oh, well, spend money on something that probably is not accurate. Well, I guess they weren't there. So, you know, this all brings me to, like, yesterday. It's late. Like, a little after ten. I'm watching a movie. Promare, actually. And I'm having a wonderful time. Well, all of a sudden, she starts hacking again, and I'm like, oh no. And then she, you know, like, barfs. So I'm just like, well, this kind of, you know, messes with me. You know, like, well, this, this this sucks. Maybe I do need to, you know, like, figure something out and take her to a vet again. But then there's something different about this puke. Something a little different, anyway, at least for her. Because, you know, a few weeks prior to this, I forgot to mention, Lucina, I'm watching, you know, oddly enough, I was watching a movie that time, too. And she just kind of spits up, like, a little bit. I wouldn't say full-blown, you know, like, puke, right? And I go, and I go to clean it up, and I stop. Because there's, like, a weird little, like, strand. Like, I'd say, you know, like a pale, like, kind of like a tan color. Like a whitish-brown color. And I'm looking at it, and I'm just thinking to myself, Is this a worm? Because, you know, like, they took fecal samples from both of them and said they were clear, so it shouldn't be a worm. But, you know, like, it could just be, like, a part of a rubber band or something, right? So, you know, like, I don't want to absolutely just assume that it's a worm. So I call my vet up and I'm like, hey, I have this. I have this thing. Can you check if it's a worm or if it's something else? Forever, you know, like, I couldn't figure out what it was because, you know, like I said, it looked kind of like part of a rubber band, but I don't really use rubber bands around the house. Like, I don't even know if I have any here. Maybe tucked away in a drawer. So, you know, like, I'm confused. So I take it into the vet, and they tell me, 
you know, like, they call back, like, a day, you know, or so later, and they're like, oh, hey, it's, like, a fiber, you know, like, some sort of, like, fiber, right? Like, it could have been from, like, a rug or a carpet. Eh. And I'm thinking, you know, and I say, and I'm like, oh, that does make sense, because Lucina has this thing where she'll go, like, I have rugs out, right? She'll go to, like, the end of the rug and, like, play with them and everything. Right? Like, she'll get underneath the corner and just, you know, like, screw with them. So that makes sense to me, and I accept, you know, like, I accept this explanation. It's a good explanation. Come on. Darn it. But then, as I was saying, Mewtwo pukes the other night. And lo and behold, the same fiber is in her puke, except there's one major difference. This time, it's moving. So, like, I don't know, I'm no professional, but I don't think that fibers do that. At least not carpet fibers and rug fibers. So you know what? I'm pretty sure it's a frickin' roundworm. And in addition to that, well, thanks, my guardian angel. In addition to that, unless it's like a really bizarre coincidence, the other fiber was probably actually just a worm that came out dead. So, you know, not only could they not diagnose this with $600, I handed them, like, the actual, you know, like, what the problem was, and they still couldn't diagnose it. So I got overcharged, and I've been misdiagnosed for, like, a while here. Huh, how unfortunate. So, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little ticked off. I'm several kinds of ticked off for this. Because, yeah, you price gouged me during a point where finances were likely tough. You misdiagnosed it even with all that. And, you know, like, I, I, I cannot believe I likely handed them a worm. And they were still just like, oh yeah, it, it's not a worm. That couldn't be the solution. So this is, like, gross incompetence. Like, I'm not even sure, like, obviously I'm gonna be swapping vets, I'm gonna, like, yeah. At this point I probably can, so once I'm done recording this, I'll, like, be texting my, my aunt, who has a lot of experience with cats, and asking her two things. One, am I cool just getting an over-the-counter, you know, like, ringworm removal? Because, you know, like, that would be just the quickest way to do it. Or would she recommend I get some, you know, some sort of pills from a vet? And then two, going into that, could she refer me to a vet that doesn't suck? I also need to text, yeah, because my sister was the one that recommended them originally, so I think I should probably tell her about this too, because, you know, if she's going to the same place, this might be information she wants to have. Okay, two snipers. I didn't even see the the sight on me. I saw it over there. Then again, I think I, I think there is some sort of lag on this because sometimes it's you know like I'll be in weird positions where you know it shouldn't uh, you know it shouldn't have killed me and it just did. But yeah, anyway. Oh, another fun thing is I think I'll also call like my doctor to make sure like. I imagine whatever medication, because, like, if you handle, like, a something's poop that has ringworms, sometimes you can get them, too. And, like, the only symptom I have is sometimes my poops are a little weird, right? Which, I have a horrible diet, so that does make sense. It's not the craziest thing in the world. I'm playing like crap today. But I mostly wanted to talk, so that's fine. But, yeah... So, yeah, well, there's a fair chance I don't. 
Paranoia says that I should just take the pills. Plus, I'd be really annoyed with myself if I got rid of it and then somehow, you know... Somehow... Really? The cat's got him again because, I don't know, I got a little too enthusiastic with wiping or something, right? And... Like, I flung a turd that, you know, or something onto the floor and they got it off of that again. It seems really unlikely, but it's just to cover my bases. Plus, given everything that's going on, I'm sure they'll be refreshed to hear... I thought there was land back there. They'll probably be refreshed to get a problem that isn't somebody either having the other thing or being paranoid about the other thing, which, I mean, times are crazy. It's probably not a bad thing to be a little paranoid at the moment. Come on. Come on! Oh, dear lord. Eight, nine. So, yeah, I don't know. That is my life at the moment. In other news, Promare was good. It was a little confusing like the first time I did it, but I think that's just because... Like, so much happens in the movie so fast that it's a little confusing. First time. Come on, come on. No, I was hoping to get the special up and then just use it quick. Okay, not what I would have predicted, but okay. But yeah. So yeah, I highly recommend Promare. And I also... Huh, did that person not do anything? Because they only got a thousand. I would also not recommend my vet. I'm kind of wondering if I should do like I... I I feel like kind of a jerk because I never like leave online reviews or anything. Like I'll do, you know, when I go to some places, I'll go on and I'll do like the electronic survey, but I never actually like go on Google and I'm like, this is what I think of it. So there's a part of me that would feel kind of like a jerk if I went online and was just like, I am making a review account specifically to complain. Feeling positive about a situation wasn't enough to get me to do this, but me being cheesed off was just the right thing. But on the other hand, I'd almost feel like a jerk if I didn't, because it is, like, so bad, so bad, that, you know, like, if I did not tattle on this, like, a lot of other people could be like, hmm... You know, like, they could be going in there blind, getting, like, overcharged for things, like I said, and also just, you know, like, incompetence. That's awful. Darn it. I tray you. So, yeah, I gotta think about this very carefully. Plus, like, any time, you know, like, I've worked customer service before, which, like, well, it's not exactly the same, it's more of a medical profession, like, you're still dealing with the public. So it's one of those, like, I'm loath to complain about it, because I know they probably have to deal with, like, a lot of crap. Here and there. Darn it, I didn't slide back enough. So, you know, it's just that sort of thing. Like, I don't know. I'm loath to complain, but I kind of feel like they've earned a complaint in this instance. I should really be using my super jump more. Overall, I'm just frustrated. That worked? Huh. I thought that was going to be an easy dodge. I should have slid back and continued shooting. Well... They finished them off, so it's fine. Did I do this wrong? Yeah. Yeah, I did. That's why I hate the super jump. It always just seems like I'm easy pickings when I come down, but people who are better at the game than me say it's important, so... 
I gotta get used to at least trying to use it. I think they got the kill for that. Although, I think I helped a good deal. So you know what? I'm gonna, gonna take as a assist. Do I? No, I don't have my... Well, we're really pushing them, I'll say that. Come on, come down and engage with me so I can hit you with my splashdown that I now remember that I have. No, I thought I could make it! No! Darn it! I was hoping to go above him! David! I think had it been just a little to the side, it, it actually would have worked. But he got it like right up my butt. Which is quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. I'm saying us. Yeah, that's what I freaking thought. Okay, we're doing one more round. Win or lose, one more round. Hey, I. Now that I've gotten all my cat woes out, I have like. Less to talk about. So much less to talk about. But yeah. Oh yeah, did I mention, yeah, in yesterday's video I did light ten of dualies, today I'm doing dark ten of dualies. Which has thrown me once or twice, but not enough to make many, you know, like many major mistakes. Just enough to make me look stupid. Like that one time I used Splashdown when I thought I was going to start using auto bombs. So why the pea green? Is it pea green or is it like baby barf green? Peas are at least edible, even if most people don't like them. Okay, I jumped down at a poor time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought there were two up on the hill, not one up on the hill, one right beside me and one up my butt. <laughs> oh my. Oh my, that was quite unfortunate for at least one of us. Darn it. Just darn it, that's all I can say. If we lose this one, it's a lesson that I need to quit like one match earlier. Cause the same thing happened last time. I won a match and I was like, I'm quitting next round. And then it became... Come on, you're... Holy cow. I kill... Well, then again, even if an inaccurate weapon will kill really fast if it has a high rate of fire and it's right beside your skull. This might be the time. Okay, it's purple like everywhere that I'm not. So the reason for the the second one. Remind me, can I report people for squid bagging? I'm not going to. It's more just I kind of wonder because I saw like a big debate online, like on a forum of, you know, whether squid bagging was like, you know, something that you should be banned for. Well, maybe not banned for, but like reported and like... 
there were the camps of, you know, like people who's like, oh, it's not a big deal. You're gonna get me. Darn it. Didn't get away in time. But yeah. Some people were like, hey, it's just a game. Taunting's a part of any game and all that. And then there was like other people that's like, yeah, well, you know, like you don't know who you're playing against. Like, you could be against, like, a child and this, like, you know, makes them feel like they don't want to play anymore. I know that seems a little extreme, but, like, to a degree, I kind of agree. I don't know. I think it's just bad manners. It's one of those things, like, I guess I come kind of down in the middle where I think you shouldn't. We did win, okay. Yeah, I think it's rude, the squid bag, and I really think you shouldn't, but I don't think it's a bannable offense. Yeah, I didn't do great, but we won. I really need to practice more. But yeah, that's just, just how I feel. It's like how, you know, like in real life you shouldn't be a jerk, but you know, it's not like go to jail for being a jerk if you are. That's how I feel. Thanks for watching. Join us next time when hopefully I play with a bit of a clearer head. Not sure how much that'll help. Also, Splatfest coming up, so I'll probably have some videos of that in the near future. Yay!